Hey what's going on developers? In this tutorial I'm going to show you how we can update the next auth session in the client side as well as the server side. Updating the next auth session can be a little tricky. If you have used the update function to mutate the next auth session you might have noticed that it doesn't work. So at the end of this video I will come up with a simple solution to fix that so you will be able to update the session both in the client side and also in the server side. So let's get into it. Okay I open up the previous videos project and here we have already set up the next auth with Next.js and if you're not familiar with the next auth and you don't know how we can set up the next auth with Next.js I highly recommend you to watch my previous video which its link is now on the screen. So here, as you can see in the API directory of the app directory, we have set up the next auth with the Next.js. So in this video, I just want to show you how we can update the next auth session. So here there is a question, why we need to update the session in the first place? One of the common use cases of updating the next auth session is when our backend access token expires and we want to send a request to the refresh token API and get a new access token and then we want to replace the old access token with the new one. This is a very common use case of updating the next auth session manually. So let's get into it. Here I go to the home page. First of all, I'm going to access to the session of the next auth with the use session hook. So I'm going to say const object and set it to use session hook. And then we have the data and let's rename it to the session. Okay, now inside the J6, I'm going to create two button. The first one for the updating the session and the second one for just logging the session to see if updating the session works. So I just paste these two button. The first one, as you can see, the update session and the second one is the log session. So inside the onclick event of the log session, I'm going to just log the session. And inside the onclick event of the update session button, I'm going to call the update session function. But we didn't define the update session function. So here I'm going to just define it. So it would be an async one. And now inside this function, we want to update our session. So here we can just mutate this session. So for example, I can say session.user.access token equals to something like DDD. So it says that the left hand side of the assignment expression cannot be optional. So let's just remove this question mark here and say if the session is existed, then update the session. So here there is a problem and let me show you what is the problem with this approach. So let's save this and run our server. And here, as you can see, we have the common error of the Nexus version 13. And it is because since we are using the use session inside the home page, we have to mark it at the use client. So let's save this and open up our browser. And here, as you can see, we have the update session and log session. So let's sign in into our application. And now let's open up the console. Okay, now let me log this session. As you can see, the access token is this JWT here. And now if I update this session, and now again log the session, you can see the access token is changed into DDDD string. So that's worked for now, but there is a problem. And that is, it only works inside the client side it doesn't update the session on the server. So if I reload the page, here as you can see the access token goes back to its default value. So as I said, this naive approach, just update the session in the client side, but it won't update the session on the server side. So in order to fix this problem, we can use the update function of the use session hook. So I just comment this out, and here in the use session, I'm going to grab the update function and I go to the update session function and here we can call the update function. So I'm going to say await update and then inside it, we can put our updated session. So 
here I just want to spread the session and then we have the user and then inside it we're going to spread the session dot user and then we just want to update the access token which is going to be a string like d d d d so let's save this and go back to our browser and here let's log this session as you can see the access token is the default one and now let's clean this up and click on the update session and let's click on the log session and here as you can see the changes into the access token have not been applied so the update function didn't work here in order to fix this i go to the api routes of the next off and here as you can see we have the callbacks object inside the callbacks object we have created two functions jwt and session we have defined these two functions in the previous video in order to have access to the access token inside the user object of the next off session so again if you're not familiar with the next off you should see the full stack authentication tutorial so we're not working with the session function at the moment but we need to make some changes in the JWT function so in the first step I'm going to grab the trigger and also the session from the parameter of the JWT function and here I want to check if the trigger equals to update then I'm going to return an object and then spread the token and also session that user so let's save this and go back to our browser and here let's clean up the console now let me log this session as you can see the access token is the default one click on the update session and then clean up the console again and then again log the console you can see the access token is now with the new value so let's refresh log this session again and as you can see the session is updated in the server side as well as the client side so in this way we can update the session in the client side and also in the server side so let's quickly recap what we have done in this tutorial i go back to VS Code and i go to the home page first of all we need to grab the update function from the use session hook and then wherever we want to update our session we use the update function and then inside this function we pass a new object for our session and inside this new object we can update whatever property that we want to change inside this session so in this case we wanted to change the access token from the user object and also we can for example change the name of the user and set it to a new value but this update function alone doesn't work for us so in order to fix the functionality of the update function we go to the api route of the next off and inside the callbacks object in the jwt function we grab the trigger and also session from the parameter of the jwt function and then we check if the trigger equals to update we return an object as the jwt and then inside it we spread the token and also session that user and else we just return an object that combines the token and the user object so these three lines of code will fix the functionality of the update function and in this way we can update the next of a session both in the client side and also in the server side so yeah i think that's it for this video and if you like the video please hit the like button and if you want to see more content like this please subscribe to my channel have a nice time bye bye